What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of Ruin a Randomer. Um, the last few episodes have gone down really well guys, I just want to say I appreciate the support for having Ruin a Randomer on this second channel. I know it might be strange for some of you to be seeing it on this channel, but uh, here it is. I'm playing with the same team as the last few games. I, I forgot to, like, well I actually didn't record in time to get this guy's team, but he's got uh, Sterling, Coutinho, uh, Suarez, mainly a Liverpool team. It's actually like a mix of a BPL team that he's got. You'll see the players he's got there, Gerrard as well. He's, he's pretty much just got a Liverpool team uh, it's not a full one though it has got some BPL players if you guys wouldn't mind leaving a like on the video that would be absolutely awesome uh, he's got Suarez as well so yeah he's, he's pretty much that. got uh, Glenn Johnson there at right back Sako Aga he's actually just got a full Liverpool team so <laughs> there you go I didn't even notice um, I managed to pick this win up um, or this game rather well it is a win um, whilst playing just some random games last night hopefully you enjoy this i score some nice goals in this one and i want to do a bit of a q and a i want to tone it down from the kind of the depressing uh um just too deep com conversations we've had over the last couple of ruining randomers and just answer some of your guys questions so i picked some of the best questions that i got from twitter and the first question is from heart dynasty hd and he says what do you feel is the best video you've made that is still on your channel um, the best video I feel like I've made has probably been a ruin and random back in FIFA 12 where I went 3-0 down or maybe 4-0 down sorry uh, and it was 4-0 at half time and I was going absolutely fucking nuts I was going mental like I, like I can't remember exactly which one it is I'm sure one of you knows I know uh, Jamie Anderson who watches my videos a lot I know he knows which one it is so Jamie if you do manage to be watching this tweet me the link to that I'll put it in the description that'd be pretty awesome and uh, yeah I was I was 4-0 down at half time I ended up coming back and winning the game 6 Six four, and uh, I've just never been so elated in my life. Like I was so happy, and uh, because of the the emotional roller coaster that was that game, uh, I find that to be like one of those videos that I will go back and watch. Um, so yeah, it was a it was a pretty decent video. But in general. I mean, I also created the intro to uh, Play to Win for FIFA 13. I thought that was a remarkable video that just didn't get very much love at all. People kind of disagreed with my uh, my opinion on that. Uh, it's episode one of FIFA 13 Play to Win, and uh, it's like a little epilogue, like going through. And I've got AA nine skills to commentate over the top of it, and it was it was a pretty sweet video. But uh, like I say, people didn't really agree with me on it that it was a good video. Um, but it would be interesting to know for you guys that have been around a long time and a short time, what's your favourite ever video of mine and what are your favourite videos of mine that I do? So uh, let me know in the comment section below, guys. That would be pretty awesome. Uh, the next question is from Brulic FIFA. He says, do you have a job? And this is actually intertwines into two questions. So I'll answer this one kind of shorthanded. Um, and the answer to do I have a job is yes, I do have a job and YouTube is my job. It's my source of income. It's how I pay my bills. It's how I put food on the table. And uh, this is uh, this is what I do for a living. The next question we've got is from Dion the G, and he says, "Do you have any New Year's resolutions? If so, what are they?" Now we actually covered this a lot in the depression and YouTube video. Um, my New Year's resolutions are to get back in shape, uh, get out and see my friends a bit more, and uh, generally start just enjoying my life a little bit more. To be honest, that, that's kind of my New Year's resolution. Um, look at that run from Ronaldo there, sick stuff. So uh, that's that's what I've got, and again put in the comment section guys what your new year's resolution is going to be people always like stop drinking give up smoking go to the gym um they tend to be like the three most common resolutions i also really really want to learn guitar um so learning guitar is something i've wanted to do since i can remember and i've always made an excuse not to do it and when it comes to learning something i have like i have an addictive personality so if i start doing something i want to do it until i'm the best and i can't help that that's why when i play league i want to just keep playing that's why when i play fifa i hate it when i lose that's why when i went to the gym i would go every single day just because i wanted to be the best at it i wanted to be you know the, the biggest guy in the gym lifting the most weights and that's kind of how i am and the thought of starting to play guitar and not being very good at it is hard to make me pick up the guitar um, I do want lessons so I'm going to probably get a house tutor someone that comes to my house like three or four times a week in the new year to come and actually teach me to play the guitar because I tried to learn uh, through the internet about a year or so ago and uh, it just it just didn't work I, like I got frustrated with it uh, I didn't really have the time back then either and now that I'm stopping my other channels except this one and my main one um, I'm going to have time on my hands I'm going to be able to learn guitar and uh, that's probably one of my other new year's resolutions 
The next question we've got is from Lord Parney. He says, in your latest Ruin and Randomer, you said YouTube was your only source of income. What happened to your pub? Did you sell it? Well, my pub was mine and my dad's pub. Um, and now the fact that I'm not there and I don't work there anymore, I just don't take money from it anymore. I don't get a wage and uh, I don't get paid from it. So... Uh, that's why that's no longer a source of income. I haven't worked there now for six months. Um, so my dad has a new manager and a new team of staff under him. And he's kind of taken more control back over the business where I was running it completely. So he, he's not overly happy because, you know, he's into his 50s now and uh, he wanted to be retiring. And it was expecting me to take over the family business completely and um, just kind of uh, manage everything. And he would just take, you know, the the takings, take the cash, take the take the moolah, take the profits. But um, unfortunately, due to the fact that YouTube has become a success for me, uh, I left the family business to pursue my love of gaming. And this is where we are right now. Uh, the next question we have got is from Cole Sharon 14 And he says, what's one thing that you can't live without? Now, other than like your traditional air, water, food, like obviously, I genuinely couldn't live without the internet. Like I don't remember what people did before the internet was a thing. Like, and I mean, like, really before it was a thing. Like, I had internet at school. It was dial-up 56K modem, you know, where it would make that noise. And, like, just to load a picture would take somewhere between, like, 8 and 10 minutes. And it was just bad. Like, it's obviously super fast now. But everything everyone does relies massively on the internet. Like, every single thing. File sharing, email, even phone calls and shit nowadays, like Skype or whatever, like your phone has 3g you can play your games you can download stuff from the app store without internet like the internet has become such an integral part of our lives that i quite simply could not live without it um but what again i'm asking you guys a lot of questions here but i'd like to know what one thing you guys couldn't live without because i could live without playstation xbox i could live without um playing video games but the internet because of everything that comes with it i suppose another thing that i couldn't live without would be music um but yeah, the, the, I guess if I had to pick one thing, it would be the internet. Uh, the next question we've got is from Big Lad DC, and he says, Do you prefer YouTube now or back when there was a fewer people in the community and less money involved? Um, a mixture of both. And like like I've said in, in previous Ruin Random, I'm not going to sit here and, and lie to you guys. Like The money is a massive aspect of YouTube nowadays. Um, so I, I enjoy the fact that this is my job, that this is what I do for a living. Um, it, like I, it, when I started doing YouTube, and up until I had like around ten thousand subscribers, there was no such thing as a partnership program. People didn't earn money through YouTube. Like you had, you had massive YouTubers back then who had like hundred, two hundred, three hundred thousand subscribers that were getting good views and just were not getting paid for it because advertising on YouTube wasn't a thing. Those guys kind of didn't pursue YouTube because they couldn't because there was no money involved and have actually like died off now. Like when people when they were in their prime picking up massive massive views that didn't earn money from it you you look at someone like wings of redemption he got so many views back before the partnership program existed and now the partnership program does exist he doesn't get so many views anymore so he he like i guess he would feel like a little bit aggrieved that he didn't make the money that he possibly could have made but um youtube as an advertising source is just uh going up and up and up and and i personally believe that it will take over tv in the next 3 to 5 years uh, i believe that TV programs in general, like due to the thing, things like Netflix and Love Film, TV in general is being watched more and more on the internet anyway. Um, so, the, the YouTube back then, I actually prefer the layout of YouTube back then and the way it worked. I knew what I like. I knew if a good video was good, it would get lots of views because it would get shared around the community. It would get put into people's sub boxes. It was never an issue. Now, if I upload a good video. And it's a bad YouTube day and people may think I'm crazy and think they don't exist. But if it's a bad YouTube day, you can tell. Like if you look at someone's videos, right? Especially a daily uploader like myself, um, where I might upload 10 videos in a row and they're all Let's Plays. And every video, like video 1 through 5 has got 45,000 to 50,000 views. Video 6 has got like 28,000 views. And then video 7 through 10 has got 45,000 to 50,000 views again. You know for a fact video 7 didn't hit sub boxes properly it didn't publish to sub boxes properly and that's not your fault that's youtube's fault youtube is costing you money there because for whatever reason on that day maybe they were turning the the like bar from green to blue or adding the little thumb up next to a thumb up comment comment you know they do the most random crap youtube that costs youtubers massive amounts of views 
And um, back in the day, though, that never happened. If you if you uploaded a video, it published to Subboxes. That was the end of it. Like there was no no mix in between. And, and supposedly, I don't really know how true this is. Like, if if you're subscribed to me and I upload daily, and you watch one video and then don't watch videos for like five or six days, and then watch one video and then don't watch videos for five or six days again, YouTube just simply won't put my videos in your sub box because it knows that you don't want to watch every video that I produce because you don't. Um, so it's really, really strange. I don't know how true that is or how accurate that is or if it, YouTube is actually similar to what that is about. But um, that's supposedly something that happens. So it is a mix of both, like I say. So when there were fewer people in the community as a score a wonder goal there with Pires when there were sorry Rui Costa um, when there were fewer people in the community it was easier to get noticed and to get videos to go viral uh, due to the fact that if I made a good video everyone in the community would hear about it or if you know when a skiller made a montage it would do the rounds on Twitter YouTube Facebook and stuff and it would get a lot of views due to that and they would get a lot of credit and a lot of recognition that they would deserve nowadays if, uh, if someone makes a, a video it tends not to go viral because people are so selfish that they don't want to say, hey, go and check this guy's incredible video that he made because they think, hey, if I send my subscribers to go and watch this guy, they might never come back and watch my videos. And, and it's, it's a sad way YouTube is now because of the money. Um, that kind of aspect of YouTube is a little different. And we saw, I think, another cracking goal with Vieri there. But, you know, um, now that money is involved, people work harder for their content because they know they've got to be the best. So they put a lot more effort in uh, they do a lot more editing and make the, the content much, much more appealing because they know if they don't, they're not going to get views, they're not going to earn money and they're going to have to go back to stacking shelves in Tesco's or whatever, you know. So uh, it's a catch-22. It's a very interesting question, a very good question. The next question we've got is from Dej Arsenal and he says, do you ever push the elevator button more than once? Do you really believe it makes the elevator move faster? Now, I, I sometimes would push it more than once and sometimes not. It definitely doesn't make it move faster, but sometimes I just spam it there because I've got nothing better to do or I don't know, like you, like you don't want that person that's like 10 paces away to get in the elevator. So you like, you know, you're hitting it like, come on, close. Um, but uh, I do a bit of both. So uh, it's it's not really either there, here or there. And the next question is from CNTT. And he says, who is the best player you have ever got in a pack on any FIFA? Um, my, my most valuable player um, is... Sergio Ramos team of the year version maybe team of the season no team of the year version in FIFA 13 so around this time last year I picked him up um, opened a pack 100k pack and he was just chilling in there um, I've got uh, I've got Messi in a pack a couple of times uh, once in FIFA 12 once in FIFA 13 no, once in FIFA 11 once in FIFA 12 once in FIFA 13 yeah so I've got him in a pack each time um has a score another really nice goal there again um, but uh, I think the best pack I ever got was a return to FIFA pack which had Arjen Robin in it so uh, that was a pretty sweet pack next question we've got is from Matthew Friedman he says will you ever shave your beard um, I keep it trim sometimes like it's a bit messy right now I need to trim it but um, I, I quite like it and I think it's uh, it's a part of me now I think when I'm when I don't have a beard people are like oh my god where's your beard um, so I think I'm going to be keeping the beard for, for a while uh, my girlfriend just has to get used to it she doesn't particularly like it but um, hey that's uh, that's that's her problem. Um, we've got a time for a couple more questions here. Uh, the next one is from some random dude. It says, how old were you when you started gaming? And what game did you play? Now, the first memories I have of gaming is like Streets of Rage or um, Poster Boy. Um, things like, uh, what's that? I can't even remember what it's called. The, the, the built-in game to the Sega Mega Drive, which was like where you was underwater. Um, he was like Billy the Kid or something like that, the game was called. Um, that's kind of my first rem memories of gaming and playing games. And, and I would have been like eight, nine years old. I had a Nintendo Entertainment System, used to play Mario and Duck Hunt. Uh, then the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. And uh, But when I really got into gaming, when I actually started playing it like religiously, I guess, was when I got a PlayStation 1 for Christmas um, the same year that... Uh, I guess FIFA 98 was released. Um, so yeah, 98, my first PlayStation. Um, that was when I started gaming uh, hardcore, I guess. Like I, d I never really put it down after that. And I, I found Football Manager as well, as, well, Championship Manager at the time. Championship Manager in 99, 2000 um, was the first kind of football simulator game like that that I played. And um, I played that for hours and hours with friends. And I used to play FIFA all the time and then Pro Evo. But yeah, so... I guess kind of like 98 to 99 was when I 
became like a, a bona fide gamer. So we've got time for one more question, and that is from It's Prince97. And uh, he says, what are the worst kind of subscribers? There's no worst kind of subscriber. Um, but uh, the frustrating subscribers, as I score a beautiful fifth goal there, are the, are, the, are the subscribers that don't like my content, but come back every day just to tell me they don't like my content. Like, you know, you're not helping anyone. You're giving me a view. You're helping my cause. You're, you're bringing me money. Um, but you're, you're frustrating me by putting shitty comments and, and you're obviously not having a good time yourself because you're watching a video you don't like. So uh, those are the kind of guys that um, just frustrate me a little more than uh, anyone else. But I, I love anyone that comes and watches my video because it does help me and it helps my channel and it helps me grow and, and it helps my life and that's absolutely awesome. But that is the end of the game, guys, and indeed the end of the video with that. So as always, thank you very much for watching. If you are enjoying this, be sure to leave a like, rate, and comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, I will see you guys for the next next episode. Peace.